Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker, and I am your host. And today, we're going to be talking about hall passes versus threesomes. And you're like, why? How did we get here? How did we get here? So on yesterday, we had a topic called open relationships. And in open relationships, we talked about these two different uh, elements, right? But today I decided to go into more detail so that I can explain to you exactly what a hall pass is and exactly what a threesome is and why one may be more beneficial than the other, depending on the couple, okay? Now, let me start by saying that these videos are for educational purposes, okay? When I create these videos, it's not to persuade you one way or another to bring any of this into your relationship. It's really just to give you knowledge because so many people are out there doing all of this stuff. And sometimes, <clears throat> you know, when I'm having conversations with people, they have no knowledge that any of these things are going on in the world around them. They really believe that everybody has a relationship just like theirs, traditional and monogamous. And that is not necessarily the case. Um, when I'm speaking to people who are in my age group and younger, this is, this is what they into, okay? There's nothing wrong with it. Um, a lot of people ask me, you know, you were married for a long time. Did you ever do any of this? I never did any of this in my marriage. It has come up in conversation. My ex-husband at the time was just not open to doing any of this, so we didn't do it. It wasn't that I wasn't open to it. It was just that he was like, no, nah, I don't think that this would be a good fit. And one thing that I'm going to say is if you are in a marriage or long-term committed relationship, before you do any of this, you have to be in agreement. So that means if one person wants to do it or is open to doing it and the other person is not, then I do not recommend that you do it because you need to be in agreement. That's where the communication comes in. Um, and the thing is, for me, it was like you came in switching another head. So, you know, and, it, and how can I say this? Um, I always believe in checking in, meaning just because we agreed upon something when we was 17, 18, 19 years old or 25, 26 years old. When you get in your 30s, when you get in your 40s, you can't think that the person still have that same mindset. So that means sometimes you have to revisit things and you have to check in and say, hey, do you still feel the same way about this? Okay. So I just want to make sure I put that out there because I have gotten letters in the mail um, with y'all wanting to save my soul. <laughs> I have been getting tons of, I don't necessarily want to call it hate mail. I don't want to call it hate mail because it's, I, I hate is such a strong word, but, um, a lot of y'all been offering me salvation and I'm going to just say this. I, you all don't have the ability to save nobody's soul. Okay. When it comes down to people and their belief system is personal, is private, and just because it doesn't look like what yours look like, which a lot of times is just religious stuff that y'all are doing, um, it doesn't mean that that person does not have a relationship, it does not believe that they're no longer a believer. So I wanna just put that out there so y'all can stop mailing, my, mailing letters to my store, y'all can stop inboxing me, um, you can stop damning me to hell, you know, that is not how you pull people in. That That's not how you pull people into what you got going on. Me and my God, we good. Me and him, we good. And that's all I'm going to say about that. All right. So back to this teaching that I'm doing. Hall pass versus threesome. So let's talk about the hall pass first. Years ago when I was operating my PPG group on Facebook, that was when Facebook used to really let you be Facebook. This was about maybe 12 years ago. Um, I had a group, co-ed, and this group was, um, it was filled with all type of people who were just really sexually open. Some people um, just enjoy talking about sex and sexting and all this kind of stuff. Some people would hook up and literally have orgies and threesomes. And some people were swingers. Like, it was literally a mix of all types of people in this group. I absolutely loved it because I was introduced to so much different stuff because I, I was actually able to see people live it, right? 
I remember that we we all met up one night at the Dacra Cafe on Greenwell Springs Road. And this one particular couple there, they were operating in what was called a hall pass. And I was like, okay, well, what's a hall pass? Like, what's that? And it was like, basically, um, if we see somebody up in here that we like or we vibe with, I'm going to go home with a different man and my husband is going to go home with a different woman. And not go home with, but they're going to leave and go to a hotel with separate people. But they had the rule was they had to be home by 10 a.m. the next morning. That was their rule, meaning you can go and stay out and have your fun, and I'm going to go stay out and have my fun, but by 10 a.m., we both have to be back at our house. I thought that was just like the, the neatest thing. I thought it was the coolest, neatest thing. I was like, really? Like, so y'all going to really pick up on people here at the Dacra shop, and y'all going to go take them to a hotel? at different places and y'all gonna fuck them and then y'all gonna come home and just be like what and they had this whole don't ask don't tell type thing so each person knew what they were doing but at the same time they didn't have to come home and discuss it i thought that was just so neat um because i had never seen it before but a lot of time when people do hall passes you'll see this with um couples who are typically monogamish not monogamous monogamish right they normally live their lives in a monogamous type of way but every now and then they step out and do what it is that they do right um now one of the upsides of this hall pass is if you and your spouse are into two totally different things sexually meaning y'all have two totally different interests sexually you're able to experience what it is that you want to experience sexually with a person who wants to experience the same thing with you sexually. For example, what if your husband is into getting paid, but you don't necessarily feel comfortable pegging him? That means when he gets this hall pass, he could go and get paid with somebody who's comfortable with doing this. Suppose you have a wife that is into impact, um, and you just not the one that just want to whoop her ass all night long. Well, she could go to someone who is into impact and they can beat her ass all night long. And then y'all can come back home after y'all hall pass is over and go back to your regular life. But that void was filled, right? Another thing with the hall pass is your, your person doesn't actually get to be able to see you get down. Meaning, I, and this is just what I believe, because I've seen so many threesomes go wrong. I've seen them go wrong. Seen them go wrong. Um, and I'm going to get into that. But sometimes when your partner is in the room with you, you you hold back. Because you don't want to make them feel some type of way. In other words, this this new pussy, right? This new pussy. So when you get in the new pussy, of course you're going to show up. You're going to show up and show out. You're going to cut up in new pussy, right? And your partner look like, well, when the last time you fucked me like this? And then now this has created an issue in your relationship because your partner's seeing you fucking the hell out of somebody else and they haven't gotten that in a long time. A lot of times you'll see that happen in threesomes, right? But with a hall pass, you won't get to see that. You, you only thing you know is you are giving each other permission to go and deal with other people. Now, another thing with a hall pass is depending on how long or lengthy it is, um, I know a lot of people do like whole weekend hall passes. Um, and I've even seen people do like a week when a, when the guy go on like a guy trip. Um, and they'll do like a whole week hall pass. I've seen that. Uh, sometimes the person that your person is going to is sexual, but sometimes it's other things that they can do with this person too that they may not necessarily enjoy doing with their spouse or the, their significant other that they have their um, primary relationship. A lot of times people frown up when I say that there are certain things that you may enjoy doing with somebody else that you may not enjoy doing with the person that you're with. I was told by a really, really, really good friend because I have been discussing this with them in detail um, to make sure that I let you know that everybody can't be everything to a person meaning that you're not going to check all the boxes and that is a very big responsibility to put on somebody to try to make them check all your boxes right so 
with our common sense, we know that you can't be everything to everybody or to one person. Um, with that being said, they can go and get what they need somewhere else. And the other person can be an outlet for them. Okay? So, that's how it pays. Wrap up. Threesomes. Threesomes is when a couple or individuals want to bring in a third person. Now, threesome doesn't necessarily have to be anything dealing with um, sexual orientation or gender or anything like that. Um, meaning that it can look all kind of ways. It could be boy, boy, girl. It could be girl, girl, boy. It could be transgender, girl, boy. Like, it could be all three girls, all three boys. Threesomes can look all types of ways, right? But the thing about threesomes is everybody is in the same room together, able to see everything going on. Now, when I asked the question and I did the uh, survey, that was one of the main things that people said was, we in the room and we able to see everything. But the thing is, sometimes the person is in the room with you and they really can't handle seeing everything. So you have to understand the person that you with. Will hall pass be better if they really can't handle seeing you? Like I, I see people all the time with the girl, girl, boy threesomes. That's the most common one, right? But when I get to talking about girl, boy, boy, a lot of men cannot handle seeing another man fucking their woman. They mentally cannot see it. Like, they, they can't wrap their mind around it. So, the thing is, when I'm looking at threesomes and I'm, I'm looking at y'all saying yes to threesomes, I want to be able to see y'all say yes to threesomes with all dynamics. Meaning, whether it's two men and a woman or whether it's two women and a man. Because the thing is, if I'm a woman and I'm, and, and I'm giving you a threesome as my man, I need you to be able to give me one too when I get ready to bring another man up in here. You get what I'm saying? Like, and, and that's how my mind works. So the thing is, again, you got to be in agreement because what happens is a lot of times women, we'll, we'll be the ones to give, meaning we'll be the ones to say, oh yeah, well, we can do it and I'm open to doing it. But then when you come and you say what you want for your fantasy to be fulfilled, then it's like, oh no, we ain't doing it. Oh no, we ain't, we ain't bringing in no other man. That's not fair though. That's not fair. Okay. Um, another thing with the threesome we have to understand before we even do the threesome, the objective of the threesome. Who is going to be pleased in this threesome? A lot of times couples going into a threesome and they're both looking to get pleased. But I need you to ask yourself, who is this threesome really for? Did the woman ask for the threesome? Did she ask to bring another woman in? And, and, and you her man? And, and you agreed with it? Meaning that threesome is for her because she asked to bring another woman in. Meaning that she wants to enjoy the pleasure of a woman. So yeah, it may look like you kind of getting left out when they tangling up with each other. So you kind of looking like, well, I ain't really getting out of, nothing out of the threesome. But the thing is, the threesome wasn't really for you. You was just really there, right? Sometimes the threesome may be for the man. And the woman say, well, I want to do a threesome for my man to please him. That means that when you're going in this, you understand that the pleasure is not about you. That the pleasure is about the person who the threesome is for. The third person is coming in, they're just a bonus. That's all they are is a bonus to help facilitate and make this happen, right? But I need you all to ask the very important question in the beginning. Who is this threesome for? If y'all both saying that threesome for both of us, a lot of times you're not going to have a successful threesome. Because somebody's going to feel like they didn't get enough or they didn't get, um, they, they, they kind of, got left out, right? Especially if the third person you brought in is more attracted to one of y'all than the other. That's another thing. You'll see a third and she may come in and she might be really feeling your man and she'll deal with you, but she really dealing with him. Can you handle that? Okay. The next thing is, I want to make sure that I'm touching on everything. Do, 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 do. What happens when the day comes where you say that I don't want to do this anymore? Once you open up Pandora's box, a lot of times it's hard to close it back. So just know that when you get all of this started in your relationship, sometimes one person gets to a place where they're like, well, I don't want to do this anymore. But the other person want to continue going. What normally ends up happening is uh, a person will agree 
to stop, but then they will turn around and double back and still go and do it. And a lot of times, turn around and double back and go and deal with the person that you're doing a threesome with. Go deal with them by themselves. Or arrange to have a threesome with them and somebody else and just not with you. So, I need you to understand that sometimes it's hard to close these doors when you open these doors. Okay? Um... You know, of course, I get a lot of feedback on that. Y'all shouldn't be doing this. And y'all opening up this to y'all relationships. Just know that when you're doing this, know that you're doing it for yourself. And not because somebody else is swaying you to do it. Because the thing is, if anything goes on in a relationship where it doesn't work out or for whatever reason, when I did this, it was because it was something that I wanted to do. So I'm not going to blame this on the destruction or the demise of a relationship that was probably going in a bad direction anyway. This is not going to be the, the blame for it. So, and I want to I wanna put that out there because a lot of times people say, oh well, yeah, they started doing all of this and then the relationship was went in a whole other direction. No, a lot of times the relationship was already going in another direction. They was doing this, trying to think it was going to save it. But no, in order for this to work, you got to have a lot of communication. Hall pass. You need to understand if it's going to be one where y'all going to fucking, y'all going to come back and share with each other about what happened or if it's going to be a situation where it's a don't ask, don't tell. I just know you went and you enjoyed yourself. That's all I need to know, right? Or you may have a situation like this, whereas, you know, y'all doing everything together. It's out in the open. Um, y'all are selecting the people together. Y'all are vetting them together. You know, it, it looks different. For everyone, but whatever it is that you decide to do, make sure that you all are communicating with each other through the process. And with this one, especially if the rule is we don't talk to this person outside of this threesome, there should not be no side conversations and all of this kind of stuff going on because that's what makes these situations messy. That's why I told you I, I never saw the threesomes go right. I, I have never seen them be successful in a way that I would say is success. If I was um, deciding on how this would go for me in my personal life, I would probably opt to do a hall pass. Because I'm the kind of person I don't really need to see what's going on. Like, I could care less. Like, in other words, I ain't, a, I, I'm not doing a threesome so that I can watch you through the process to make sure that you ain't doing it because I need to see everything. No, if I'm trusting you to a point where we able to get on this level and do this, then we can do it like this here. And you go and do you and I go and do me. I just think and it's going to be different for everybody. I'm not a, a, a that's another thing y'all keep sending me messages. Thank y'all ladies for inviting me on dates. Thank y'all ladies for, you know, wanting to hook up and connect with Auntie, but Auntie don't do bitches. I don't do fish. I don't eat pussy. I don't do none of that. So that's another thing. Um, I'm always thinking about that with this because I don't necessarily know how fulfilled the other person would be with me and this because it's so much that I'm not going to do. When it come down to another woman. And mentally, I just can't see me getting fucked by two men. So, I don't think that this one would work for me, personally. Um, let's see. I think that is going to probably wrap it up. If you have not gotten The Ethical Slut, this is the book that, um, for people who are interested in LS, lifestyle community, um, if you want pointers and just like a just an introduction to it, get your copy of The Ethical Slut. Um, I think that's pretty much all that I wanted to say about hall passes versus threesomes. Um, just know that if you're doing a threesome, your person's supposed to show up and show out. Do not, do not get upset with them for putting on a show, okay? Do not get upset because, you know, they, people making sounds that you ain't heard in a long time or you ain't never heard before at all. You got to understand when you bringing in new pussy, new dick in any of these situations, like all of that newness, it gets people excited. It gets, it gets them, them stimulated in certain types of ways because it's new. So don't get offended. And if you're one of those people who are going to get offended, don't even play around with this. Don't even touch it. If you know you're jealous, don't touch it. And I'm going to say this too, and this is going to wrap me up. One thing that I hear people say is, oh no, I couldn't do this because I'm jealous, right? But in reality, even in monogamy, you're jealous. Like, 
Your person ain't got to be doing nothing. They can go to the corner store and you like what you was doing there, how long, where the receipt at, and what is that, the other. Like, jealousy and trust issues, it doesn't matter if you're poly or monogamous. If that is who you are as a person and you have jealousy and trust issues, you're going to have it in any relationship dynamic. And that means that you got to do some shadow work within yourself. Because let me tell you something about me. I'm the type of woman... I don't never feel no type of way about no other woman because she not me. She'll never be me. So the thing is, I don't necessarily care about an open dynamic. That's why when I was married, I never cared about an open dynamic because the thing is, even if you go out there and get that, she not going to be me. And I'm confident in what I bring to the situation. I'm, I'm confident in what I bring to the relationship that we have with each other. And it does not have to be because a lot of times people think, you have a lot of people who are in friends with benefit situations. You have people that are in serious relationships, fuck friend relationships. I, you know, if any type of ship that I'm in, and I'm going to just say ship, I'm so confident in me to I know another person can't be me in whatever type of ship that we have. So that means you can go and do whatever you want to do because they're not going to be me. But that is my mentality, right? A lot of people... They are always scared that these people are going to take their person and run off with them. They can't run off with somebody who didn't want to run off. In other words, if your person did all this and they ran off with the person, they didn't want to be with you no way. That was just an excuse. So I'm never worried about somebody running off because at the end of the day, if you want to be here, this is where you're going to be. And if you want to be over there, that's where you're going to be. We don't own people. So that's another thing. You don't have to, if you're dealing with this in, in any type of fear that your person is going to run off, don't do this. this neither one of these are going to be for you. Okay? All right. That's going to wrap me up for today. Make sure you come to the store. Thank you all for submitting your um, input. But when I ask which is best for your relationship, how past one overwhelmingly. Most people did not go with threesomes. Most people that I saw put threesomes, they put a threesome and then put a butt behind it. Threesome, but it got to be this, 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 and other. Threesome, because I want to be able to see what's going on. Threesome, because I want to eat pussy too. Threesome, because I have my own idea of a fantasy. Threesome, because, you know, all of this kind of stuff. But my people that say hall pass, they just like hall pass and whatever go on is like Vegas. Whatever go on in Vegas stays in Vegas. So, thank y'all for submitting y'all responses. Um, of course, the store is open. Yes, we do have the Black Honey in stock. Yes, we do have the Pink Pussycat in stock. Yes, we do have the WAP in stock. If you order the Rose Bundle, your orders have been shipped out. Okay? That completes my video. You all enjoy the rest of your day. Oh, before I end... Southern Homecoming is this weekend. If you like these earrings, I got these from the African shop on Swan Street. And he has all different types of earrings and necklaces and all types of body jewelry and all of that. And they're right over there on Swan Street. So when you go to Southern Homecoming this weekend, pass over there, go support that black business. Because he was so kind to me when I went over there this weekend because I went to um, Natasha at Grand Hustle. She had hamburgers, homemade hamburgers. She's going to be out there this weekend, too, for homecoming. So go support Natasha and go and support him at the African shop. All right. Y'all have a good one.